me just give you like a little, like a one-liner about what I uh, what I think about this mimer so far. Okay. So what I find comforting about this mimer is that it distills the entire Jewish structure, the entire Jewish edifice of Avoida on one foundational bedrock, on one pillar, on one nikuda. Mm -hmm. And it says like this, your whole Yiddishkeit, your whole Avoida in Yiddishkeit is based on this one thing. It's called Yirat Chet. If you cannot activate, you cannot perfect your Yirat Chet, you can't even begin to go to the next levels. I hear you. I hear you. I, and I hear that you're very convinced. I'm not yet. I'm not yet there. I'm not sold. I'm being very <laughs> honest. But no, I, I see that it's an important facet. And it's, it's the mimers going that direction. But I haven't gotten to that. That's the crux of your Yahadu. Right. But I mean, you've been living this for, I remember last year when I visited, when I was at your house, you were talking about this mama. Was I? Yeah. Listen, it's one of those. It's one of those that keeps coming back. It's beautiful. I mean, I don't know about it. With a, with a vengeance. That's how it's supposed to be, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baruch Hashem. It's, uh, if, if anything I got out of uh, out of becoming religious and Chabad and, uh, and the whole thing, it's that, is that I have certain maimorim that, that don't let me go. Nice. Anyways, let's go. Base. Okay. It starts with the words, Ach Lich Oira. See it? Yeah, I have it. Go, go for it. Ach Lich Oira. We need to, we don't really understand, according to what we just said until now, that, um, you know, the whole subject of Yirat Chet, Yirat Elokim, and then we kind of define each thing. We didn't know exactly what the definition of each one was. But how does this fit into Sof Davar HaKol Nishma Ve'et Elokim Yira Ve'et Mitzvotav Shemo Kizek Kol HaAdam Sof davar, the last matter, the last thing, the last step. Hakol nishma, everything is heard, everything is said and done. And at the end of the day, the bottom line is, you need to fear God and you need to keep his mitzvahs. Because this is the whole man. Right. We see over here that Yirat Elokim is called Sof davar. So he's, he's qualifying the Pasuk with a specific type of yirah. So therefore, according to this extrapolation, these two terms, yirat elokim, yirat avaye, are really one and the same thing. So we know from before that yirat havaye is called reshis chokma, and if yirat elokim and yirat havaye is the same, one and the same, so it could be, it, it must be that Yirat Elokim is also in Shish Chochma. Val Koyr Chach Leimar. So you, you're forced to say, the Yirat Elokim hi madrega acheres mitchinas Yirat Savaye. It can't be that Yirat Elokim is in Shish Chochma. Because Reish Shish Chochma is the opening of Chochma. And the opening of Chochma is Yirat Savaye. And Yirat Elokim is something else. So we have to we're forced to say that Yiras Alekim, he madrega acheres mipchinas Yiras Avaye. The Yiras Alekim, who have bitled the pale mamish besur merav asay toy, Yiras Alekim must mean the bitle, the pale mamish in action, in your body, in your thought, in your final words coming out of your mouth, in the thoughts that form your processes inside of your brain, all of the last. Um, extra, uh, extensions of your behavior, thought, speech, and action. It must be that Yiras Alikim is the bitl in your whole behavioral existence of surmira and asetov, of refraining from negative and actively seeking out positive. Shezeu bitl chitzayni leilech bedarke Hashem liyos in tzvaysav chapeitz me'oyv. It's a bittel, an external bittel, to uh, strongly decide in your system and make it part of your of your of your operating system that you're going to go in God's way and you're going to actively 
be engaged in like seeking out or or or, or searching out God's mitzvahs. You're, you're not gonna like stay. Okay, if I have an opportunity, I'll do it. If I don't have an opportunity, I'll just chill. No. How do you see that? Of, huh? How do, why do you see that? How do you why do you take it to that extent that it's not it's not more of a passive, uh, you know, engagement with the Ratz and Hashem, but you're saying it's active. It's like I'm pursuing it. Where do you see that? I, I'll tell you what it is because because of the words, the mitzvahs of chafetz me'oid, the chafetz me'oid part is like he's really really like uh, like excited, like he's really oh, yeah, into yeah, yeah. it. Mm-hmm. He's really like thirsty for it. Right. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Makes sense. The the Leos sur merabe tachlis. In addition to that, you also have another component, which is the sur mera component in Yiras Alekim. So you have a positive component of. Um, of, of seeking out connectedness to Abister through his mitzvahs. And you also have a negative component, which is refraining from uh, separation uh, activities between you and Hashem. Right? So you're, you're running away from anything that will separate. You're disgusted. You're, 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 you're like, get this out of my face. I will not even entertain any opportunity to separate from myself from Abister through su'mera, through negative commandments of, uh, of transgressing them. Mm-hmm. And I'm also very, very keen on actively searching out opportunities to positively connect myself to Hashem. Yeah. You don't want to do anything against God's will. Yiras is a whole different focus. It's a whole different bittel. It's a bittel. It's a you know the word bittel is 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 um is a little bit general. A little bit uh, overused in Chassidus in general, mm-hmm. and 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 you have to understand what he's talking about over here when he says the word bittel. Right, fair enough. So what do so, you make, what do you make of it? Mashe enki niras avayesh he pchinas bittel apnimi bechemer ameyach ve'alei biedias ve'haragosha shalukus ech she'ein lechadavar chutz mimeno u'leispail mizeh bepchinas ahava ve'ir apnimi zbeleiv kanal. Okay, so what is, what is this bitl? It's it's basically each one of these is, is a bitl. You have a bitl in Yiras Chet, you have a bitl in Yiras Alekim, and you have a bitl in Yiras Avayet. Each one has his bitl, and each one's a different type of bitl. Mm. Okay. And when you experience that bitl, when you when you say to yourself, I am not going there, or or it, I, it can't be any other way. It can't be any other way. I cannot exist any other way. It's a strong toikif of this is what it is and that's it. Mm-hmm. I think that's what the meaning of bit. The, the pearl there's the pearl manish version of it or is thing in general? General, general. Okay, general bitle. Yeah, and then and then you gotta you gotta you gotta fill that into each one of these. So Yirat Chet, it's a bitl in Sumera, which means I I, ca- I cannot allow myself to transgress negative commandments. Right. And then you have the bitl in Yirat Salakim, and it's like I cannot allow myself to miss an opportunity to connect myself to Hashem. Mm-hmm. I can't. I have to take advantage of the opportunity. Right. And then you have the third one, which is a bitl in contemplation. Wait, wait, we didn't in, get there. In, uh, Are you allowed to do that, Dikha? Like I don't know. It's, it's cheating. It is cheating a little bit. I just... No, but it's, but it's context. Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> anyway, the, the third one is a, is a pneumious, more pneumious Dikha bitl, which has to do with Hamakas Adas, and and setting aside uh, 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 care, really. More, uh, and it's not, I was I was gonna say time, mm-hmm. but it's not time. It's more like you could even be like 
hamakas adas in bitul of yiras avaye when you're driving your car and you just like kind of like you go into that mode of deep thought that 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 affects you deeply in in how Abishtha creates the world, Yeshma'ayin and the whole thing. You know, like it's 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 a constant like thing, like ocean of of of, of diving underwater mm-hmm. throughout your entire lifetime. Got it. I would translate Bittal. I mean the way I like to to, to understand Bittal is transcendence. I think the way you're describing it is the Pel Mamish, the Matthias. Like what what happens when you experience Bittal is what you said. But what's the hergish? It's transcendence. It's, there's the first level, which is maybe we could tie it to bitul ayesh, right? That, that, you know, I have my own perspective, my own desire, my own way I would like to enjoy my life, but I'm going to mevatel that. I'm going to transcend that and rather direct my energies into something that's more, that's higher. Something that's higher, which is dafki Hashem. And there's not, nothing I can do about it. It's complete. It's bitul. I'm bitul. I take what my natural desires and instincts I'm putting them aside, and not, not really putting them aside, but I'm transcending them, and I'm engaging in something higher. And then you have a, a higher level, which is, bitl, uh, which is the next level of Bittal, Yeres Hashem, and Yeres Hashem is, I'm transcending not only in my Peol Mamish, but I'm transcending also in how I perceive reality. But naturally, I perceive reality that I exist, and everything around me exists, and but Hashem, I know that Hashem creates it. But Bittal Avai, the second level of Bittal, it seems that he's saying that no, it's that I'm aware constantly. I transcend my my natural perspective. I'm evat on my natural perspective to Hashem's per- perspective, Yehuda where I see really how I sh- everything is Yeshmi, how everything is Hashem, and that's my default, my default perspective. That's how I see it. Okay, I mean, I, I don't, I don't disagree with that. I think it's, uh, it's, it's connected to what I was saying. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I like that. Yiras Avaya is the internalized bitl in the chomer, in the physical matter of your brain and your heart. He goes very physical over here. Mm-hmm. And then he goes a little bit higher where in emotionals. Right? So it's a bitl in physicality of your brain and your heart. It actually vatals the yeshus of your brain and your heart. Then the second part of of bittel of the bittel is that it affects your uh, your dias and argosha selukus, mm-hmm. your your functions of your brain and your functions of your heart, which is emotion and intellect. And, and then he goes into the contemplation itself. Nothing is outside of him. They spile me there to get excited from it. Put your emotions into it. Right? It's a it's a, it's a, it's 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 an emotional effect inside of the heart. That this is all of this is a is a internal bittel, an internal acceptance of reality of the chaymer pnimi the meich v'leiv. Shemayvi gilu hatsura the koyachma shebenem shalikis. This is what is. He's basically he's basically explaining how to prepare the keli for preparing uh, the, the entrance of koach ma of um to enter into your system into your reality. And when this koach ma shines inside of the of the of the of the of the room of the of the of the of the of the, of the, of the area. Of the of the of the territory of your heart and your mind, this uh, it, it basically lands like a UFO lands on a piece of uh, farmland. This then really like seals the coffin, puts the nail in the coffin, and really transforms your heart and your mind and your behavior. Canal. The Indian Pirusha Mishnah Dim Ain Chokma Ain Yira Vikule Aval Yirasaliki is different than Yirasavaye. Who Pinasa Bittel Bechitsoinus Hai Vori the Yad Veregel with Kinasa Mais the Poil Mamish. The Hen Samach is Elikimira, the Pinas Vets Misvaisab Shemir. 
But Yiddish Elohim is more of an external bittel of your physical body doing acts of Torah mitzvahs. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you an example from yesterday. From yesterday? What happened yesterday? Yesterday, I'm not saying it's Yiddish Elohim, I'm just using it as an example. Okay. Um, I was, I was, uh, I took the kids out to go see my mom in Petah Tikva and my sister. And we came back home and, and my, my sleeping patterns were very, uh, erratic, let's just say, <laughs> let's just say, to be, to be simple. So, so I, I we get home around five, six o'clock at Dava Mincha. And then after Mincha, I, I just crashed. I crashed. From like 6 p.m. to like 11 to 15 p.m. And I was like fighting, you know, to wake up. You know those moments where you're like fighting oh, yeah. to wake up? He's like, oh, I got to dive in my room, you know? Uh -huh, I hate that one. I hate it. <laughs> and so I come downstairs, and my son's reading a book on the couch. And he goes, that, uh, Abba, you, you, you woke up? And I said, yeah. He says, why? You know, and, and he sees me putting on my jacket, my hat, my gartel. He goes, what, you, you woke up just the Dav and Myrin? I said, well, yeah. <laughs> he goes, he goes, oh. And that was the end of the conversation. But basically, a bit to, so it's just, an, I don't, I'm not saying it's Yudas Alakim. What I'm saying is, is that it's, it could be an example to understand what Yudas Alakim means. Is that your body will not allow you to not keep too, sleeping right. when your yarmulke falls off. Your body will not allow you mm -hmm. to fall asleep without saying Kirisha Malamita. Your body will not allow you to behave in a way that you know you're missing something and you can't be, you can't continue otherwise. But then if you say that, Sir, then we even that we don't have. Because right. our body does allow us. Or my body does no. allow me, right? It, it, listen, yeah. it's a process. You, yeah. Your body allows you in certain things and your body doesn't allow you in other things. And your job is to continually sure. conquer sure. more right. territory. But it happened right so the thing is are we saying that it's a, is it an all or nothing game no this bit all... no it's not an all or nothing game uh -huh. it's a conquering okay. territories little by little mm -hmm. got it okay okay you read them <laughs> And that's why it says, and Hashem, you will, in Lukim, you will fear. And it juxtaposed it to the level of, the, the aspect of, and you'll guard his mitzvot fully. Okay, wait, he does not explain further, so we're supposed to understand this. No, that's what, you, that's what we explained. That's why it says in the, in the verse that we started this voice with, right? Uh, ah. It says, it's basically yeah. explained to you that Yerat Elokim is one and part. The yeah. bittle of the Evarim uh -huh. that, that your physical body cannot any other way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Yerat Elokim automatically means Ed Mitzvotav Shemo. Yes. And the level of Yerat Elokim is called the end. Sovdava, the end of the matter. Hayinu. Hayinu. Shizehu tachlit hamekaven. Beiridat haneshama beguf. Ena bishvil chayut hagashmi hanimshach al yedei ishtal shilut de shamayim va'aretz hanikha davar, dvar avaye. Kmo shgatu bidvar Hashem, shamayim nasu. Rak ikar kavana lifol בחינת הביטול בחומר הגוף לרצון השם בפועל במש. כמה אמרו עזל, הווה עומר, הווה עומר, לא ניתנו תואר מצוות, תואר מצוות, אלא לצרף בהן את הבריות. אוקיי, תסביר לי. where do you get lost and where do you still understand? no, I'm not lost, I'm not lost. I just, I'm, I just need to recap, I, I read a mouthful. Um, so we say Yirat Elokim is called Sof Dava. Sof Dava called Nishmat Elokim Yira, right? Elokim Yira, Yirat Elokim is called Sof Dava. Why? Because this is the Tachlit. This is the purpose of the Neshama coming down into a physical body. It's not, it's not in order to give a living, a physical life. And this physical life comes into being 
from through Ishtashalus, which is uh, through the the Dvar Avaya. But really, the Wait, that, just let's put a pause over there for a second. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> the way God creates reality is in two ways. There's two different, uh, generally speaking, obviously, there's two different um, um, pictures, for example, that are pouring into reality, and they're, they're, each picture pours uh, a, a bracha or a liquid or a, 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 a creative energy into reality. Mm -hmm. One of them is called Dvaravaye, which is God speaking words, and uh, the world coming into existence, Bechitsonius. Okay. That's one picture, and that's one way that reality is coming into creation. But if that picture would be the only picture that uh, that would create reality, then you would be missing the other element of reality, which is the spiritual element of reality, or the soul element of reality, or the uh, uh, highest pnimi element of reality, which is your neshama, my neshama, angels, all, all of the things that are alive on the inside and not that you see with your physical eyes. Mm -hmm. So you have two different uh, inputs, two different but, but what's investments. What's the second one? I only see Dvar Hashem over here. Dvar Hashem creates physical reality. Everything, like, like for example, uh, I used to watch like these Steph Stephen King uh, TV um, reality shows, uh, not, uh, like he, a book that he wrote and then they made it into a, uh, a TV movie. So one of them is that they get into a plane and they, they, they fly the plane and they're supposed to land somewhere and they land, but they get there a little bit earlier than uh, time, basically. Time is like behind them. And so they get into like the airport, but there's nobody there. Everything's like stale and everything's like, uh, like, like, uh, so they get there. No, sorry. They get there a little bit after everybody. So, so basically it's like, it's like, the present is like constantly moving, you know, in in a in in in, in a in a in a in a linear motion, let's say, uh -huh. and then and then the 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 physical reality that is left over after that living moment passes slowly like deteriorates and decays. Okay. So, so um, so the reality of that moment when it's decaying and when it's thing is, is it, why is it decaying? Because the highest is not in it. It's just a physical thing that has no highest in it. Mm -hmm. And okay. so that's what, that's, that's Dvaravai. Dvaravai. You're, saying, you're saying that Dvaravai creates the, the, if you want, the keli. And the, yes. So that, but what's the other thing? I don't see another ingredient over here. It's only thing he doesn't about... say it over here. He doesn't mention it over here. But, but it's just, uh, you know, you know that that's what it's like. In other chassidus, there's uh, there's 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 two inputs. Right, there's the and, ICS and, and there's the ICS and then there's the hevel ape. I think those are the right, two. Right, or there's or there's the kavana behind what you're saying. Ah, okay, okay, you could call that. All right, fine. So so continue now from from that understanding, meaning that Yerushalayim is called Seif Dava. And this uh, is Tachlis Samet Kavan, Biridis and Neshama Baguf. It's not for the physical existence of everything, rather for the internal kavana. or kavana in the thing. Right. And the whole purpose is to transcend the physicality of the body to God's, God's will. In the actuality. Paul Mamish. The Definitely. That's the that's the Ike. That's interesting. It's very important. That's important emphasis, right? It has to actually come out. It's really like the Pearl Mamish is where it counts. Kemam Wazal, Heve Omer, say, Lord Nitnu Torah Mizvot Ela Litzaref, Bahen et Abriot. So it's That's... interesting the word Litzaref. Yeah. Litzaref, um, there's a little note over here, number 12, when he says the note, uh, Litzaref means Lezakech. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> to, right? To, 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 to purify, purify your, your, your Gashmias and make yourself more Ruchmias and uh, Bittol, uh, etc. But Letzaref is also, he didn't say Lezakech, he said Letzaref, right? Yeah. To, so Letzaref also no? has its own meaning, not just where he, 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 he tried to like make you understand a little bit of it. Letzaref means to, to like, Tziruf, like, Tziruf, to join. Like to, to, to... To, like to make you a partner, like to make right. you, like, yeah, join, like, like, yeah, you're part of it too, man. You're, you're with me. Right. 
וכל זה לגבי חיות הגשמי, אפילו יראת אלוקים נקרא סוף דבר, ותכלית הכוונה. So in real... When you're talking about Chayas Gashmi being one side of the scale, so naturally the other side of the scale is Yiras Elokim. However, we're going to look at a different scale. Right. So on that spectrum, on the spectrum of, you know, the Gashmi being the, you know, the actual Chomel, right, the physicality, Yirat Elokim is already, you're already, are you already holding at Sot Dava with Yirat Elokim? That's enough. ותכלית הכוונה, זה האוטומט גו. אבל לגבי בחינת ביטול האמיתי, שנעשה על ידי גילוי בחינת כוח, מה שבנפש אלוקית, אפילו רת הוויה, שהוא עניין ביטול החומר באיברים פנימיים, זה מוח ולב נקרא ראשית בלבד, לגבי ביטול האמיתי הנ"ל. But when you're talking about the true ביטול, right, the ביטול האמיתי, when you're revealing כוח, מה שבנפש אלוקים, then... It's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Just the beginning. Which means that, 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 uh, that when you feel a bitl in your mind and in your heart and, you, and, and you're, you're contemplating and you come to like a aha a moment, that's just the beginning of Chochmah. Chochmah is now going to step into the game and he's going to do his thing. Wow. It's like you, you enter a whole new spectrum. Exactly, a whole new realm. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Which is not what we said before, right? Before we started to say, Yirat Elokim is Yirat Hashem, and I say, no, it's like Yirat Chet. Shunyan Abitul, Bipol Mamash, the Bevarim, Chitzonim, Efchinat Ha'esek, the Torah Mizot, Efchinat Yirat Hashem. ובחינת יראת השם הוא בחינת ביטול בבחינת איברים פנימיים דמו ולב להניח כל משמעותיו והרהוריו ולהעמיק דעת בעניין האלוקי כנ"ל. Last Friday morning, Friday morning, Baruch Hashem, after our, 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 our Chavuta, I, I had a special davening. It was really nice. You had a I special davening? We, yeah, I'm saying this is, it has an impact. You know, we spoke about it. We, we, we learned a little Chassidus. So yeah, I which, 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 um, which Nekuda were you holding on to in order to like, get into that? Like, what was, that, what was the, 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 the general, like, what was it? What was it? I was able to, I internalized the fact that Hashem runs the world enough that I don't have to rush out and go tend to my email inbox. And that if I spend an, an extra 20, 30 minutes that I'm sitting here in shul and thinking about what I'm, what I'm praying, it's going to be okay. And it, it thought it was. It was really good. Book. And how did you get that from the Mimer? Um, right? That's ah. the whole idea of being ma'amik v'da'ato, v'da'ato, that Hashem... Ha'makat ha'da'at is, yeah. is, 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 a, is a desired behavior. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If we, could, if we could cut through all the distractions, right, to, to keep it, but yeah, it's a nice. idea. Nice, nice, I love it, I love it. But interesting, okay. interesting you, speak, you speak about two, these two spectrums, right? That keneged the gashmi u'tirat elokim is the ultimate, but once you get to the bitul, Right, the ultimate bitul that the, the machshem moach and the lev, and that's the chokhmah is, is just it's the reshit. It's the only you're only getting started. Yeah. So so Shah this morning I teach a Hasidic class to a group of uh, spicy Moroccans. You know, like oh, a yeah. lot of it's gishmak. But but I, I don't know how we got we got into the conversation of um, of uh, doing doing mitzvah mitzvot or mitzvot for the schar of olam haba, uh -huh. and uh, I was a big trigger. You know, I was like. I got big, big time trigger. I was like, what, what do you mean? What do you, like, I was like, <laughs> and the whole time I was trying to explain to them, like, it is completely absurd to, that, that that is the approach to Judaism, right? Like, <laughs> why, how, are you, how are you interested in this stuff, you know? But it, I, I, it's, it's interesting. The whole time we finished, we finished 15 minutes later, I still didn't get, it, get through to them. It's like, it's a, oh, yeah. it's, it's, I feel like it's a I different mean, I'll tell you one thing. Somebody told me something very interesting about that specific Nakuda. He says, look at teenagers today. 
They can't even think about what's going to be in five minutes from now. You're talking to them about Olam Haba and motivating them to do Torah mitzvahs. They're not even motivated to do something three minutes away. Right. 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 But you so, know what? I don't, come on already. That's not, that's not a real motivation. I don't even have to look at the teenagers. I can't even get excited about it. And I'm like, yeah. how do you guys do it? Like, you guys are calling me the rabbi. Like, how, do, how, do you, how are you religious? How are you going to shul right now? Like, are you serious? Yeah. Like, for something that's yeah. going to happen, you don't even know what it looks like. And we're even learning that, like, the, <laughs> yeah, the neshama goes into now dinul to forget everything in order to get there. So you don't even know what it is. Whatever. Right. But, but, yeah, it's like a really different shlav. It's a completely different shlav. Like, I feel it's like a, you need a transformation in perspective to, to get to, to that place. Yeah. Hasidah does that. Oh yeah, it gets you. Uh, it gets you. Uh, you know, thinking deeper about what what what, what life is all about. Right. Go. Okay. Aval the MS Ainoi Kane. But the reality is that this is not the right uh, categorization of all of the different levels of Yira that we were talking about. We didn't categorize it correctly until now. We we kind of gave generalities, but now we're actually going to give you the exact pirush of each one of these levels. The Yirat Chet who a lios sur merah bilvad. Yirat Chet is solely focused on sur merah, not doing negative, uh, transgressing negative commandments. The Inyan said the Yirat Chet tarek lios koydem lakoyl. This is step one before anything. Don't even think about going anywhere else. And that's why Yiras Alekim, the next level, is called the end of the process in step one. Uh. Step one, step two. Yiras Chet, Yiras Alekim. Save Davar. Chilas Davar. The beginning, the end. Right. Two part process. One, two, clutch. The Hainu. Legabei Bechinas Yiras Chet. Oh, sorry. Ki Yiras Alekim. So, Yiras Elikim is Asay Tov, Yiras Chet is Sur Mera, and it's a two part process. Kimitchila Tzarek Liye is Sur Mera, and Hakka for Asay Tov, Kniskar Sidran, the Pasuk, the Hain. Amar veloy techalalu et shem kochi shemitchila tzarich liyos nizhar sheloy lechalel. Don't make holes in the balloon. Don't poke holes in the boat. And only then could you start rowing. V'chagach nikdash li al yedei mitzvos. First yirat chet, then yirat selik. Sur mera, aseto. Step one, step two. Yeah. Well, ze Omar gam kein kol shiras chet oy kodemes lechokmas oy dafka. And this is what the the meaning of this specific verse is when he says yiras chet oy comes before chokma and the relationship with chokma. It's dafka yiras chet he's talking about. Mashein ken yiras elikim ein a kodemes lechokmas oy ki bechol yoy. Sorry. I'm not Different text. So he says over here in the note. Hainu shidavka hayira mechatayim surmera koydemes lechokma umahave tnai makdim lahagia eleha. And then he says in note 22, which is on the word yere elokim hamevia zehirus bekiu mitzvah sasei. That's Yiras Alekim. Zehirus, the Kiyomitzvah say, 
And then note 23 is, Enoi masoi. And he says, Kaleimar, he ain't a bepinas hakdoma, kitainis bilvad, la vedes So, I see. So, Yiras Alekim is a necessary hakdama. Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. Yiras, Yiras Chet mm-hmm. is a necessary hakdama to get the chokma. Yiras Alekim is not a necessary hakdama. Why? I don't know. That's what he says. Interesting. I, I understand your why. I understand your why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also have that why. I thought it was like because a... the key, like what he's, he's Mistama is giving an answer. He says key bechol yom achiv liot. He's telling because every day you have the obligation to do asetov. Basically, you have the, the you have to do asetov. You're gonna do it anyways. Just take advantage of those opportunities, basically. Meaning, but but you, but but if you but if you can't start by not by by plugging the holes, then you haven't even started. On the train tracks, the way to put the cart on the train think, tracks is Yiras Chet. Do you think that he's saying what he's saying is that even the Asetov is also part of Yirat Chet? Because you, anyway, if you if you don't do the if you don't do the Asetov, if you don't do Shema, if you don't do Ve'afta, then then you sinned. Yeah, you, you, no, you didn't. <coughs> I mean, you didn't. You yeah, you 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 missed an opportunity. Okay. When you say the word sin, it's a general word. What, what does that mean? Does it mean that I, I destroyed something? Or I, mean, I just if I, didn't, if I didn't say Shema, if I didn't say Kriyat Shema in the morning, I was over to 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 Let's put it this way. Let's put it this way, okay? Um, if I if I have a a uh, an account that earns me compound interest. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> I wonder where that came from. <laughs> Pretty random muscle. Pretty random muscle. Well, if I take away money from it, I am hindering on my compound interest power. Right? If I if I empty out my account, I have no longer have any opportunity to to make compound interest. Mm-hmm. I have broken the machine, so to speak. But if I don't add on more money, then I didn't break the machine, but I just didn't accelerate the the capacity to earn. Uh, interesting. So these, okay, but the first, the first part of your mashal, you're talking about chet. Right. So, so it's a chet right. to, to take machine. away, to take, to, to, to make a hole in it, to, to, to take away from it. Right. But you're talking about the, you're talking about the spiritual outcome of missing a mitzvah saseh versus doing a sin. I'm talking about the fact that if you don't do a mitzvah saseh that you're supposed to do, you sin. It's a, it's a chet. Not, you know, in one level, yes, you're right. In one so, level, it is. So it's it, it's but not, it, it all depends it, on the it person. Seem, but it if you're seem, talking about a person that until now was doing no yirat he was sinning, sinning, sinning in the real sense of the word. Uh, he's not doing surmera. He's not practicing surmera. He's 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 ra. He's doing ra. And so <laughs> for that person, for that person, surmera is a big deal. Okay, but you can't have surmera without any asetov. Uh, it's not yirat chet. Blame Karimon. Blame Karimon. No, no, no. It's near. Sumira is that I'm not going to transgress any sin before the mamash. How could right. I? How could I? I'm not going to do any, any, any love, but forget the mitzvah I say, I'm not going to keep any of them. And I'm fulfilling Sumira. No way. No way. Sumira has to include the asetov with it. At least I'm oh. not actively pursuing to go be Nifni Mishuat Adin. But saying Khachima on time, doing fila, you know, giving charity what's the practical with the other hand. What's your what, what what's the nafkamina? The nafkamina is that's why he's saying that you don't need irat elokim. That irat chet is a pref is a, is a preface to uh chokma, but irat elokim not necessary because you anyways have the chiyuv every day to do mitzvah taseh. And because of that chiyuv, so that is also Iyat, Iyat Chet will also take care of those. That's that's how I but understand it. But it's still, it. but it's still not called Iyat Elokim. It's not called Iyat Elokim, no. Because Iyat Elokim means the active pursuit of opportunities. Yes, because even the, in, on the Madriga of Iyat Chet, even when I'm saying Shema, which is a mitzvah taseh, I'm doing it to distance myself from sin. I'm not doing it to get closer to Hashem. 
Maybe, if I don't know, that was a bit of a blip. Say it again, say it again, say it again. Say it again. Maybe the difference is, the nafkamina is, that on the level of Yirat Chet, when I'm saying Shema Israel, which is a mitzvah tasem, I'm doing it to not sin by missing it. If uh, I miss Shema, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sin. If I don't wake up for Arvit right now, I'm going to sin. So I'm going to wake up, even though it's a mitzvah tasem. So that's on the level of So you're saying of the, motivator, the motivator is Yirat Chet? Yeah. Even for the mitzvah. Not, 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 not irat elokim. Not irat elokim. What would be irat the motivator el- for irat elokim? Irat elokim would be like, I have to, I have to say shema, not because I don't want to sin, but because I want to give Hashem what He is due. I am motivated to say shema and to unite the yichud elayah and yichud atata by saying shema because that is what is due to Hashem. I want to wake up and pray Arvid because it's the tefillah that is due to Hashem and I'm going to, I'm, I'm running to do it. Maybe that is what it's saying. Ah, so the motivation could be two motivations. Yirat Chet is the motivation of I don't want to do something that will... I, want, I don't uh, want to not do something. I don't want to not do it because that'll be... Transgression. A transgression. Meaning I'm not going to have my it's, it's ra. And it's what? It's ra. It's ra. It's ra. And the other motivation is, I want to dab in my riv because here's an opportunity to, to connect to Abister in a superior way more than Irat uh, Exactly. Hence, the Puel Mamash becomes out to is very similar and that's why with the Chet, it's enough of a, it's enough with it's enough with the Chet to pre, to be a preface for for Chokma. maybe maybe not we'll see okay i hear you okay, okay. nice the gam mitzvah shem atlius belevemoya shu inyan shma bekhule wa ahta bekhule wa yadata bekhule shekol elu hema so, inside of Yirat Chet, you have all of them. You have Yirat Elikim, you have Yirat Savaye. But in order to start the entire process and connect, get, to get the Chochmah, you need Yirat Chet, which has in it, so to speak, elements of Yirat Elikim, Yirat Savaye, even though... They're not uh, active elements, but they're definitely come along for the ride. <clears throat> you understand? That's what you were saying, right? No. Why do you see why you, you say why are you seeing the elements of Irat Ratavai and Irat Chet? Maybe there is. But what? What is it? No, like you said basically, is that is that you need Irat Chet as a hakdama, a necessary hakdama to get the chokma because in Yirat Chet, you have a um, healthy environment to allow for elements of Yiras Elikim, elements of Yiras uh, Havaye, which means basically like the person who has Yirat Chet, maybe he's not actively taking advantage of every opportunity to do mitzvahs, so he doesn't have Yiras Elikim, but he is taking advantage of certain mitzvahs, and maybe he's not taking advantage of his entire capacity to contemplate and do hamakas adas in uh, in elokus, but he is on the same platform that sometimes he does do that. Okay, let's let's reread this paragraph. I think we're going to get it much clearer now. Okay, go ahead. You down? Aval bemet eno eno ken dirat chet. Aval bemet eno ken dirat chet hu habitoliot bitul. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not finding where you are. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. Got it. Yeah. What is he saying? We can't say that Irat Chet is only responsible for Sumera. Irat Chet is responsible for all of them. All of them. Everything. Right? That's why in Irat Elokim is only called Sov Dava. Like, right. You, Irat it's, Chet, right. Ve'ha'inu, le'gabe b'ri, b'chinat Irat Chet. In, in, in co- re- reference to Irat Chet, Irat Elokim is Sov Dava. Why? Ki Irat Elokim 
היא עיקר היסוד לבעשה טוב. יראת אלוקים זה the עיקר היסוד. It's not what's going to bring you to בעשה טוב, but it's the עיקר היסוד לבעשה טוב. It's the real כוונה, the real purpose, the real foundation to בעשה טוב. לשמור כל המצוות לקיימן ולקיימן לקיימן בכל, בכל הדקדוקים מצד, מצד יראת אלוקים. To, again, he's saying, לשמור כל מצוות, אז למה רוצים לעשות טוב? It's also לשמור, meaning to also do so מרע ועשה טוב, but from a level of יראת אלוקים. And that place, ונקרא עובד מרע בקבלת עול מלכות שמיים. And in that place of יראת אלוקים is called a, a, a servant from the fear of קבלת, and from fear, אין קבלת עול מלכות שמיים. ולכן יראת חטא קודמת אליו. And that's why יראת חטא prefaces יראת אלוקים. כי מתחילה צריך להיות סור מרע, ואחר כך ועשה טוב, כאן נזכר סדרן ופסוק. First you need to go away from evil, and then to do good. וכן אמר, ולא התחללו את שם קודשי, שמתחיל, שמתחילה צריך להיות נזהר שלא לחלל וכולי, ואחר כך ונקדש, ונקדשתי על ידי המצוות. So again, it's just opposing so many of us talk to לא לחלל, and after that ונקדשתי. First, is don't, don't mess up. Don't, 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 don't. Don't mess Don't up. poison the well. Don't poison the well. After that, once you're like God there, then we could talk about v'nikdashti al yedah mitzvot. Then we could talk about enhancing the water and making it super healthy. Exactly, exactly. So yirat chet is the sur merah. Yirat chet is the don't mess up. I'm not going to mess up. Yirat elokim is, okay, let's do this properly. Let's do this right. Let's beautify this situation. Continue. ואז זה אמר גם כן שכל שירת חטאו קודמת לחוכמתו, דווקא. That's why it says, his fear of sin, all that, uh, for, for whoever that his fear of sin prefaces is חוכמה. Why? It's specifically fear of sin. Why? It's a תנאי, it's a תנאי. Yeah. But it's דווקא ירת חטא, not, מה שאין כן ירת אלוקים. It's not the case for אלוקים. אין לו קודמת לחוכמה. אין לו קודמת לחוכמה. Yeah. כי בכל יום חיוב להיות עושה כל המצווה, המצוות שבפועל ממש, וגם המצוות השם התלויות בלב ומוח שהוא עניין שמה, ואהבת, וידעת, שכל אלו המה גם כן מצוות עשה. doing positive mitzvahs, forget Yerat Elokim, just doing positive mitzvahs as much as you can, uh, not really going out of your way, just doing what you could do, like living like a, like a regular Jew, mitzvah sanash melumada. And then you also have part of that, and then you have, you know, the Hasidim amongst the crowd that are also learning Hasidis, and sometimes they get excited and they do hamakas atas. But you're all drinking from the same well, which is called Yerat Chet, which is founded on Yerat Chet at the well, doesn't have any holes in it and the water is there to be able to be drunk now that's the basis of everything okay you with me yeah it was a good marshal I don't know I don't think I follow this very well okay you have a well yeah the wells in the ground yeah sometimes the wells have cracks in them Mm-hmm. And you put in your bucket and then you pull it out and you get mud. Mm-hmm. Why do you get mud? Because all the water seeped through the cracks and it's gone and all you got is the mud at the bottom of the well. Okay. Now, if you plug the holes <clears throat> and the well gets filled up again and you put the bucket in the water and you bring it out, now you have water. Right. So this water could be used to do The drink now the drinking helps you to go and do stuff in your life mitzvahs hamakas adas chassidis but it's not that that you're actively maximizing your potential for yiras alikim or you're actually you're actively maximizing your potential for yiras avaye hamakas adas you're not actively anything you're just drinking from the well because you are now able to continue your life as a Jew in a healthy way without maximizing anything. Just being able to do them. And that's what Yerat Chet allows in your Yiddish life. Right. Yeah. It allows you just to 
to be a healthy Jew. Exactly. You know, I, I, you made me think of a mashal, if I, if I may. Yeah. I think we're basically saying the same thing. But it's, it's like the difference between someone who's working in order not to be poor versus someone who's working in order to build a business. He wants to wealth, build a business. To build wealth. Build wealth, build the business. He wants to build a, a business or wealth, whatever it is, right? The guy who's, who's, they're both making, let's say, they're both making the same amount of money. They're yeah. both respectable individuals. You have to. If you, know, if you don't support yourself, you don't have any money, you're poor, you're, 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 you're not respected, right? So they both want to be in the game and they're both in the game. But one's doing it. I don't want to be shlamazel. Okay, I'll work. That one's doing. It's like no. I want. I want to actually build a business. I want to provide jobs. You know. It's I want. To, like, I want to add to the society. Exactly. They're both doing. They're both. They're both making the same level of income, but they're playing different games. So totally. you know, is like I don't want to mess up. I don't want to ruin Hashem's world. Let me do what I have to. Ilat Rukim is like okay. Wow, there's a mission for me here. Let me. Let me hop around. And in both of them, there's both. It's just a different game. That's my nice. Thing. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go for it. Okay. So let's go. Venimsa. Read it. Venimsa says, Give me the chinot. There's two levels. Aleph, the chinot irat chet. She who mash is sar mira. The poel mamash. She tarich niot kodem ve asetov. To be a businessman and to create jobs. So first level is this the sumira to go away from evil, not to be a not to be a shlamazo. And and the second level is to be a yoset, to make create wealth for your master through your very good uh, stewardship. As a, uh, as a as an overseer of the master's business. Well said. That's very poetic. That's very well said. Basically, the Yach is like, Ach gav bechirat zot de vasetov nechlag lebet bechinot. But even in this level where your your kavana is now asetov, I am going to be mosi for my master. There's two levels. There's two levels in Yosef. Ha'alev bechinat yirat elokim. First level is Yirat Elokim. Shehu bechinat habitul she b'maase ha-mitzvot bepoal mamash. Shehu bechinat bitul ha-chomer devarim ha-chitzonim. Right, so I gotta go through the right motions. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta develop the business in the right avenues and not, uh, and, 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 and maximize that potential of, of, of putting, uh, reinvesting in the right elements of my business. והבית בחינת ירת אבאי שיו בחינת ביטול החומר בדברים הפנימיים דמוח ולב שגם זה הוא בכלל קיום המצוות והיינו שגם זה הוא בכלל קיום המצוות this is also included in קיום המצוות wow the דמוח הזה has to be there והיינו מצוות שמה ואהבת ואדת כנעל right you have to actually feel it in your heart love Fear, uh, contemplation, knowing, and then it hitting you in a way that transforms you forever. Wow! And, and like now you now you know now you see now you understand Hashem more than you did a second ago. Wow! This really, this really struck a chord with me, Sneer. Wow! After talking, Valken. Valken. Okay, finish it out. Go. <laughs> this they say, they say Yirat Chet comes before Chochma. Hine bechinas, quote unquote, Chochmasoi, Kailel Hako, Hainu, Gam bechinas Yira, a Kailel, Bez, Bez Mine, Yira, the Yira Savaya, the Yira Salikim. So Yirat Chet has in it all of the levels of Yira, even. The highest level of Yira and the middle level of Yira. She calls the Nikra Ba'asai Toiv, Bemayach Velei Veivare Amaisen. This is all part of one unit, one behavioral uh, trajectory. Ule Kulam Koydemes Yirat Chet and the 
starting point of all of these beautiful developments in your personal, internal, external, Aveda reality. It all starts with Sumera. And now the dial of Maven. Wow. It's all founded on the foundational bedrock of Yirat Chet. It has to start with not messing up. Yeah. It's a, it's a big one. You know, I'm, I'm, like I said, like you said, you came a year ago and I was learning this mimer. And, <clears throat> and you come to this Nakud over here and you're like, oh my goodness. I've been from for 25 years. I've been trying to serve Hashem with and and, and, and shlichus and helping people. And in, and in some, looking at myself in a real way and soberly, I haven't even begun. A little hard on yourself there, no? No. I mean, that's what it's saying. You know, if you want to be real, you want to you want to you want to put Elul into effect and do a real cheshbon nefesh. Oh baby. Am I am I have I begun or have I not begun? It's basically, harsh. basically, are we still playing the yirat ched game? You know, are we still trying to get to there? And if that's exactly, the case, you're not even on the you're not even on the on the racetrack. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Anyways, so that's good. Yeah. Stop here.